Morning everyone. I thought it would be a lovely idea to maybe make a card for Easter. Um, we're all at the moment 2020 in lockdown and what a nice idea maybe to send a card to somebody that's on their own or somebody you haven't seen in a long time. It's a nice surprise for Easter or over the Easter holiday period. So all you need is a piece of card um, or A4 paper that you fold in half. You need a pencil. If you've got a ruler, a ruler helps. You need an earbud, one of these, and you need your paints. So I have got a very simple palette of colours here. I have an orange, a yellow, a white, and a turquoise. The turquoise is to make my green, and the orange and yellow is to make my flowers. So I'm keeping my flowers all yellowy and orangey in the theme of Easter and spring. So how to begin? So you have your card. One idea is I was thinking of a simple form like a daffodil. So if you make a little dot at the top where you're going to put your daffodil and you use your ruler very lightly, going quite lightly down to make the mark um, for the stem of your daffodil. And then you can take your ruler again to just give yourself a nice thin stem. Then if you make an oval shape like that for the top of your daffodil, and if you take a form which is a bit like a triangle, it's two lines and a jagged edge. It's a very simple way to do a daffodil with one, two, three almond shaped forms. They're just like teardrops. You can give a fourth one down here if you like, which gives the other edge of your daffodil and a few little lines that suggests the daffodil there. Then you might have a little form, another little yellow flower coming up here. A very simple way to do it is again a little circular form like that, which is like the base of the flower, and give it just again very simple form, a bit like your almond form, a little bit in there. Take the little stem and you might add a couple of little leaves. And all the leaves are is long forms that you echo the shape down the other side. Now here we might come and we'll add a little daisy form. So here's my stem. Again you can use your ruler if you want to use your ruler. If you find it's easier to get your straight line. You take it up, you make a little circle and off the circle you just repeat your almond shape shapes or forms. You see like that just coming around the middle of your flower. Again I might take a little shape up like this, stop it there and you have it coming down here. A little form up like this, you stop it there and you're coming down there. So they're a bit like the leaves of your flower. Then to add an extra little bit of colour I'm going to add just like simple little flower shapes with circles so I'm just putting the circles in like this. Um, I'm taking my bouquet down here. What I'm going to do at the, the bottom of it, just like a little form like this, your little ties and I'm going to put my stems through it. And then I'm going to make this, we can make this nice and colourful, bring a little bit of colour, it's a bit like a contemporary bow or a tie. Um, so all you need is a little brush. You've got a small paintbrush or a medium sized paintbrush. I have a small paintbrush here. And I take my colours. Of course your water. You need your water as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going to go into my daftal. So I'm taking my pure yellow, my lovely bright yellow. Um, you can use watercolour as well. I'm using acrylics because they dry very quickly. And the advantage of the acrylic is you can paint over it without it mixing into the colour above. So I'm also going to do my little yellow flower there with the bright yellow and I'm going to do my circles very bright yellow. So I'm just very quickly filling these in. I'm taking a little bit of white aside and I'm mixing the yellow into the white. A little bit more white so I get a pale yellow. So you see a good mix in and it gives me a nice pale yellow, which I can do. It's not pale enough, so I'm going to add a bit more white. 
because what I can do the petals with on my daffodils. So I want them to be a little bit lighter. You want it to be a little bit lighter than the middle of the flower. So keep adding a little bit of white till you get a little bit lighter. Like that. I'm going to take a bright, a little bit of my orange and red. So you could use red with your yellow to make the orange, a little bit of my orange and yellow. And I'm doing the center of my flower there, which is a nice bright color. And I think I will add, so sometimes you look and you say, I need to add another flower. I'm going to add a little bit of orange down there. And I might add a little bit of orange in here, just a tiny little bit. And I leave those to dry a little bit. While they're drying, I make my green. So I take a little bit of my turquoise, a little bit of my yellow, and I get a lovely green with my blue. So you don't need to buy a green. Your yellow and blue will make you a green. And if I just take it down the stem, so I'm doing my little stems, take it down the stem, take it down the stem. And then I take a little bit of the yellow with the green again. So I'm making a slightly lighter green and I'm going to make this one a little bit brighter so that they're slightly different colors and it makes it a little bit nicer if they're slightly different colors and that's coming up here and down there. That's coming up here and down there. I'm going to take my bright yellow and I think I'll add a bright yellow in here. We'll see now. Bright yellow here. Give my flower a little bit of orange into it. So I might take a tiny little bit of orange and add it into my flower. See like this and it just adds a little bit of color to your flower. A little bit of green at the top. A little bit of yellow with the green just at the top to give a little bit of color. There's a little bit of piece there. The whole idea is to keep it nice and bright. I'm going to take my little earbud. I'm going to take a little bit of orange, tiny little bit of orange, and I'm going to just tap it along. So it just adds a little bit of, so very gently, I'm not going down hard with it, I'm going really gently. And then I'm going to take a bit of yellow. What it does, it gives you just a nice little loose flower. Maybe it doesn't have to be anything in particular. It's just a little bit of color. Adding that in there and around there. Taking the bright yellow. So the idea is to keep it lovely and loose and colorful and just cheer somebody up. It's nothing nicer than a homemade card. Um, and just to add a little bit of color. So I'm going around this one as well. I'm going to take my orange and again, I'm going to go around it. I might, so I'm dabbing between my yellow and my orange. To get nice textures. So I'm a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush again, go back into my green. So again, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of turquoise. And I'm going to give these little loose stems coming in like this. So if, you, you, if you're a little bit unsteady with your hand, take tiny little movements at once. Don't try to do it in one big stroke. Do it in tiny little movements. These are a little bit of the leaves coming out. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of the white again with the yellow. So sometimes you have to go over something twice just to make it come out a little bit more. A little bit of greeny tone into the petal there. Slight little bit is dragging through, but it's quite nice. Now for my bow, I think I might give it, so it's up to you what color you choose. I think I'm going to take a bright orange and give it just a couple of little movements to give a nice bright orange bow. Or wrapping and then if I take a little bit of white on top of that and I just dab a little bit of white 
gives you that little movement. Take a little bit of orange, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to just take it as a little bow. And curl it. And it feels like it's just flowing out of the flower. I'm going to come back again to my daisy and give it another little centre bit. And if you take a little bit of your bright yellow and you just give it a little dab, it gives it a little bit of 3D. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to give it a little bit more dabbing and take now a little bit of white. And the white on top of the yellow and the orange gives it an extra little bit of dimension. It just makes it a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger um, off the page. And finally coming down to my greens. A little bit of dark green here. Just to give a little bit of extra depth. So I'm going over this again. I'm going, don't try to do it in one stroke. I'm doing it in a couple of strokes. Just a couple of little strokes there. Coming back into my daftal. Make sure your colour is really clean in between. A baby wipe is great for doing that. Um, it just cleans your brush really quickly. And it makes sure that, taking a little bit of white here, it makes sure that your colours don't mix, don't blend. You have a nice clean colour, a little bit of white, a little bit of white. Make my daftal and finally a little bit of orange, just to try and get the little lines here. And maybe a little, little bit of turquoise into my bow. So I'm taking a bit of blue with the turquoise. It's your choice what colours. You could use pink. You could use any colour that you like. I'm a turquoise person, so I'm going for a little bit of turquoise here. Again, the white with turquoisey blue will do that for you. And we have a very quick little card. You can go over your marks with pen when it's dry if you want it to stand out more. You could add more flowers, more little flowers in the middle. If you look at it, you might see extra little ones you do. The final thing you need to do is add your name. I'm going to just do Helen. Signature at the bottom to show that you made the card. So, happy Easter, folks. Hope you have a bit of fun doing a little bit of painting and a little bit of drawing.